This playthrough is rated E10+. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn are back here with another episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. In the last episode, we went through the jungle and headed through it, trying to trying to find this Prime Minister, but it seems like things are going on in the background. And Janois and his Crimson Blow are around, and one of his allies, Bishop, is a... Uh, well, a maniac who just murders villagers and stuff like that, and we can't let that stand. But we also have to find the Prime Minister who seems to have uh, gotten away or hasn't been located. But we did find a, a local. Maybe he can help us out. But anyway, let's head to the Kuba Forest to our next destination. All right, do we need to change anything here? No. Oh, yeah, off screen, I went back to a, the, the shop in Ari Hobby to uh, get the discount, so... I, I just bought fuel and um, uh, ammo, so... All right, uh, yeah, let's deploy. Now, this level is particularly interesting because of the MU. So let's check it out. Because it's a really good place, like a really, really good place to uh, grind for money and experience. If you uh, if you fight the right things here, you can get anywhere up to 18,000 cash and 6,000 experience for this place. So I would definitely suggest doing this at least a couple of times just to at least rack up your money. For, uh, for this, so I'm gonna try to kill everything on screen just to make fun, uh, just to make fun of it, just to do it, and then off screen I'll do the mission like once or twice just to get a little extra cash for myself. So, yeah, it's these uh, these guys right here give you 160 experience per kill, and then there's a uh, there's another enemy that gives like a pretty decent experience too. So, all right, what's the next? Oh, there's a drop point here. Although I don't think I actually need to go to the drop point. There's quite a few items. There it is. This is the item I'm looking, guy I'm looking for. Yeah, 320 experience for that guy. Woo, boy. So, yeah, you definitely want to, uh, if you find these guys, make sure to kill them when they're there. This guy's drop. Oh, is there nothing here? I could swear there's supposed to be something in this. Okay. Wait, does it not show up on my... Oh, now it does. Huh. Oh, well, anyway. We get a repair kit, but I've already got one, so... I was wondering why the item wasn't showing up in my sensor. I was like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm purposely just taking my time on this level just to, well, show it off, but to um, <clears throat> get the experience for taking these guys out. Yeah, now I won't have to. If I do, if I get a decent amount of money here, I won't have to worry so much about going back to Ari Hobby to uh, save just 10%. You know what I mean? All right. I want to find more of the 320 HP guys, though. Th those those are the ticket, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's see. This level has, I forgot to mention the enemies, has Flea Bonzers, Marauder Bonzers, and Shell Bonzers. The Flea and uh, Marauder Bonzers are blue color this time, so they're they're extra special. Uh, and then you can find uh, $1,000, a VG2, a repair, and, a, and another weapon, which I'll show you here in a second, so. Ow. Oh, there's the 120 guy. Nice. Oh, yeah, let's keep spying that guy. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to spawn if I can help it. And there's another one down there. And I can level up my. Uh... Wasn't there another? Oh, I thought another one spawned over here. Oh, well. Could use uh, this chance to get a bunch of uh, homing missile upgrades. Man, we were get a VG2 uh, magazine booster. We're not gonna use it, but hey. Man, now I'm getting lucky with all these spawns. I could have used a shield. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. All right, anything else down here? Nope, okay. Just making sure I got it all. <clears throat> Let's see, got it all there. Oh, did I kill everyone? Oh, I guess I did, no one's spawning anymore, so. Boo, all right, I guess we're done. I guess we're done with that, so. 
I mean, there's still enemies here, as you can tell, but... All right, first of all... Yeah, I want to go over this way. At least I got most of the spawning enemies, anyway. All right, over here we get... The Napalm Gun 2. Yeah, this is the... Uh, the second, uh, uh, the other spot for the napalm, so I'll swap out that. Even though I have the shotgun, I forgot to show off the shotgun. I've got it at 120%, so I've got it max, max efficiency right now. So, I forgot how many shots it took because I used it to kill so many people. That's one of those things you don't even really know until, uh, okay, it should be, hang on. I think I, there's supposed to be another item here. Um, not up here, but like some money, but I guess, uh, might be down there somewhere. Let's see. No, we were already this way. I don't know why I went that way. No, maybe down that way. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. All right, $1,000. Even though I'm going to be getting quite a bit of money here pretty soon, but hey, every little bit helps. All right, should be done with this section, so, yeah. All right, we are done, yeah. Let's show off how much we get for this. 21,000, so we got even a lot more than I expected because I got the right, yeah, a lot of money, Woo. And all that experience, look at that, 6,600 6, experience, that should give me, an, oh, not quite, but it'll give me another level. All right, <clears throat> like I said, I usually don't grind, but this is such a good place for money that it it's hard not to, take advantage of that nothing useful down here ah let's move on then so i'm gonna do the level at least one more time just to get the experience and the money <coughs> excuse me i might come back one more time uh before uh, after we bit finish this just to get a little bit of extra cash uh because we're about to get a shop here pretty soon so give me just a second i'm gonna go to the forest again and, and uh get some more uh money so i'll be right back All right, we did it one more time. This is just to show the experience I got this time. <clears throat> Not as much as before, but still. But still, it was a, it's still a good haul, so, for all the money you get. But anyway, we hit level 19, which means I can buy, if I find it, I can buy the Brine Sprinkler 3, Ground Seeker 3, and Paralyzer 3. And we get 30 more HP. <clears throat> and Brandon gains another useless level, so. But anyway, I think that's it. good for enough for money for now, so... Alright, I was worried about you. But anyway, let's head on to uh, uh, Mount Garl Path this time, so... We will go to the encampment at some point, folks. You're probably wondering why I've been avoiding it the whole time, so... It's just, it wasn't that important. Well, was it? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll go to it, don't worry. But anyway, let's uh, let's change our... Uh, since we've maxed out our shotgun, let's uh, put on the new napalm gun for this... Yeah, we lose quite a bit of attack power, as you can see there. I mean, look at that. 133 attack power uh, per shotgun blast. You know what I mean? But I still want to build up the napalm. I never did build up the napalm to max damage. Huh. But anyway, I'll probably come back to this and swap back in the uh, shotgun just because of how much damage it did. But I want to use the uh, that for now, so. Yeah, I've been uh, using that ball. Oh, yeah, I got it. Let's see. Whoops. Show off what my missiles are at. Let's see. They are at... That eh, takes a while. Unfortunately, sh uh, special weapons take forever to level up to a certain point. But, oh well. And, obviously, they cost money to do it. So. The sun's about to set. I'll be safer to wait till... It'll be safer to wait till nightfall. Sure you're up for this? Don't worry. This old bud's tougher than he looks. In that case, lead the way. Yeah, we're gonna have to follow this guy, aren't we? Is the Prime Minister really okay? No ways, friend. My boy was an East Pyrite in his day. Ice? Oh. An Ace Pilot? Oh. It's just his accent. Elgar's a good hands then. Wait, how does a pilot mean you're protected? That doesn't mean anything. But anyway, yeah, we actually have to follow him if you want to go through this uh, place quickly. You can actually just not follow him and uh, get to where you're supposed to go at some point. Unfortunately, he's a little fat. Where is he? Yeah, see, he's already run ahead of us. So, let's see if we can uh, make our way. Get Now, most of the stuff isn't here isn't really worth me going to get, but I'm going to get it anyway. All right, $1,000. Yeah, there's like um, there's only one type of enemy here, and you can get a couple of $1,000 boxes, a 
uh, UVG30, a couple $500, auto-aim at $2,000 around here, so. I think you can sometimes hear uh, Bishop in the background moving around. Okay, nothing up here. Just making sure. But yeah, in the long run, it would it's not worth like getting this stuff, especially if you just go back to that one level and just fight everything, you know, to uh, um, get that money and experience, you know. Yeah, that guy's fast. Well, I did not follow him specifically, so, you know, he was eventually going to... All right, that part's, yeah, over there, so I'll just go around for that treasure chest. Let's see. Oh, we have to go quite a bit out of the way for that one, huh? Yeah, look at this place. It's a kind of a mini maze when you think about it. There's the other item. All right, here is the upward Vulcan three. Even though I'm not going to use it, I should at some point, maybe near the end of the game, when I get a decent amount of money, maybe I'll buy all the weapons once just to show them off. Like go through, go to a level and just show you how they actually work instead of saying, "Oh, this." This gun sucks and everything like that, you know. So, because sometimes people like to know what it actually does, just in case maybe they want to play the game differently. Because, you know, just because I'm doing it the way I am doesn't mean it's the most uh, efficient um, path through the game, you know what I mean? Or a uh, most effective way to play it. Because really, like I said, you can tell that even though I'm not that, like, that good of an action game player, I'm still getting through this game relatively... Uh, smoothly you know for the most part so i mean if i can do it i think anyone could so and that's not counting for people who are actually would actually be good at this game you know there's another chest over there i do kind of hate how some chests don't immediately appear on the screen you have to be in the general vicinity for it to pop out or you have to know where the item is already you know what I mean? Oops. Uh, but anyway oh stuck huh uh. All right, anyway. $500, all right. Get back in there. Whoops, I didn't mean to didn't mean to get back out of the machine again, so. All right, let's see. Yeah, I like the I like the music is more ambionic here where you can hear like birds and stuff like that in the background. I think that's supposed to be birds, anyway. Oh, there he is over there, so. Okay, let me see if there's... See, and then I need to go back into the cave. Okay. There you are, man. A flare! Eh? They must have spotted us. Blast! Is there any other route we could take? Not that I know of. Then we'll do this the hard way. I'll try to draw them out and break through. Wait here. No problem. I'm staying well out of the way. Sure you are. Ah, it's Bishop again. The general is, uh, The general said he is becoming. You again? I should be asking the same thing, mate. Figure the fine done you is in, innit? it? The fire? Was that Joe Noyce's idea too? Where is he? I've had, uh, uh, have some respect in it. And it was all my own idea. But why? Why did you do it? But the fun of it. Ain't no rules for us mucks, in it. <laughs> you bastard. You startin'? You startin'? You, I'll dosh you up proper good. Anyway, yeah, he's got the same attack as previously. So just uh, kind of fly up and blast him. Sometimes you'll pop up his shield. He's really not much. Not really too tough. Not really. Although I wish I'd left the shotgun on. Oh well. Of course I'm not going to be having as much power now that I'm not using the shotgun. Hey, I better, uh... Oh, come on! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, uh, this ain't over, mate. <clears throat> Stop. Yeah, he got away. 
Yeah, now he ran off, so now we have to fight these guys. Yeah, they don't give us much experience. All right, let's uh, clear out the level. Let's go back to that one treasure chest that we missed. Or we couldn't get to, really. <clears throat> There's actually a few treasures around here. All right. So, I don't... Whoops, I don't know why I did that. I don't believe there's anything over there, so... Yeah, it's kind of weird. some stuff I can't, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it didn't show up on my map. So as long as I'm in the general area, I'm good. I have missed a couple items in the game because I didn't go... I didn't get close enough to some of them, so... And I ran right into that. Yeah, too bad. Now the, now the, the music and the ambiance have now changed to action music, so... All right, there's the there's the chest which we get a thousand dollars although I don't know why I'm fighting everything it's not like this place is a really good place for grinding it's better to go back to the old area might as well just avoid everything really I did already do a grind session so why why uh why do anymore although I do want to get my napalm up because yeah I forgot to equip the napalm when I went to go grinding let's see I wonder if I could actually Sometimes I, when I record, I kind of go uh, do off-the-cuff stuff that I wouldn't normally do originally, so. So I think I went this way already, so. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I want to I mess with you today. Okay, never mind. <coughs> Some reason I thought I missed a, a pathway around here. I guess not. All right, let's get out of here. But yeah, Bishop, after after we fe fought Bishop, then our friend, uh, he ran off. But uh, he goes a different way. He could just uh, run past everyone, couldn't we? It's like he's try they're trying to fight me, but they're not, they're not sure how to do it, so. Okay, got nothing over here. But he try our friend tries to run off and, uh, and uh, even if you're trying to follow him to the exact letter um, some spots in this place we can't actually follow him towards because we want to stay in our mech okay there's one of the chests over there oh. can I get there from another yeah I can all right go over here all right here we get an automated targeting system. I've never actually used it. What it does is it auto, basically it's what it says. It basically uses the item and it like makes your primary weapon a home in on the closest target pretty efficiently. So I forgot how long it lasts. It's not a permanent item though. You have to, uh, it lasts after so much time, but it's still a nice item to have in a uh, situation. Oh yeah, and all, and uh, trying to remember what else. Uh, no, I guess that's it. That's all I can really think of, so. All right, anyway. I was gonna say some other things, but I'm like, no, I don't think I have really anything else to say, so. Yeah, I can't go that way. Cause we need to stay in our mech. We're not, we're not stupid. We're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get out of a mech just to chase you, dude. Or follow after you, I mean. All right, there's another. Five hundred dollars. I think. Uh, let's see. Got the two thousand. Got the upward Vulcan. Got. I'm missing. I'm missing the five hundred, and I'm missing a two thousand. If I don't find, it's not a big deal. Yeah, another, another direction we can't go. Why do you keep going where I can't follow? I guess not. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's not so much of a maze. It's more I'm just trying to uh, trying to remember which way to go for for items and stuff. So there's a there it is. And there's a five hundred dollars. 
Let's see if I can find that 2,000. <clears throat> Might have, might have missed it actually. Let's see. Oh, no, nope, we don't want to go there because that finishes the mission off. So, okay, let me see. Uh, I need to go up. Okay. Up, up, up. And then, yeah, straight for a bit, if I can. Oh, whoops. <coughs> Get up there. Get up there! Alright, I'm gonna get out of my mech for this one. Even though I shouldn't. Ow! Oh, I took some damage. Wow. Uh. Let's see. Is there really no way to get over there with my dude? Let me check really quick. No, I guess not. Alright. It might not be worth it, really. Especially with these guys on my butt. Although I could try to finish him off. Oh! Damn it, it's all over! Oh, well, alright. Alright, we have to do that again, so I'll be right back. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I got too close to them. So, when you die, you, you either uh, uh, restart or continue. So, let's just continue. And we have to do the whole mission all over again, unfortunately. So, uh, so I will be right back. Oh, first time to die on screen, so... Uh, yeah, I messed up there. So I think going down there does get the 2,000. I'll be right back when I actually get to that point. I might kill just enough guys to where they don't spawn anymore so I can actually check it out. Because you, there is a limit on how many guys are there. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back at that one spot. It didn't take very, very long. And I should have just killed people while I was going there instead of, instead of just ignoring them. Because that's what caused me to die was was uh, letting, them, uh, letting them get to me. So, oh, well, whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, for whatever reason, you have to go... Uh, mano we mano in this in this place to get the final item yeah it's definitely not worth worth it especially me dying like showing that screen. i could have easily just avoided that but you know i got it i got 100 percent you all actually although technically i haven't done that because there was a couple of items i missed in some previous levels not on purpose mind you it's just i didn't put them in my notes well i didn't see my notes at the time but it did say that there were items there and i just never actually checked it and so i missed it but most of the stuff was yeah, there's the $2,000. But most of the stuff I didn't show was just items you could buy at the shop for pretty cheap at the time. So so it's not like I, I, I missed showing you guys some like rare uh, item, you know. But I did want to be a little bit more thorough in this game. But oh well. And I didn't want to show myself dying. But uh, at least I showed you the death screen once. Even though it was not really the best part. It should have been to a boss or something like that. But not some like stupid just random dudes. Because, my, because I didn't want to upgrade my guy's equipment because how often do you actually have to get out of your mech and if you do it's not for very long so all right anyway let's head to let's head to our friend and get out whoops god this place is too cramped hopefully hopefully none of you are claustrophobic otherwise it's going to feel a little cramped all right we're almost done there he is hey dude are you hurt I'll live. I'm more worried about how they knew we'd be coming. Other than me and my boy. You're the only ones who know about this place. Somebody must have leaked the information. Yeah, but who? But either way, we survive. <laughs> this time. Alright. A decent amount of experience. Nothing crazy, though. Or money, I meant. Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, I did grind the, for that one area so somebody's cooling the enemy in on our movements you mean there's a spy among us other than Luvin hey hey ex-spy ex-spy don't worry you're all above suspicion then how hmm well who how indeed well, let's head on to the Liasso woods to find out actually there's nothing here but still I would go here anyway because of what uh, what we'll get when we finish this place. So let's resupply. All right, let's head on in. The more you scrap, the better our pay. Good luck. Yeah, this is just a get items level. So, ooh, another one of those church bell missions, and we got another uh, uh, underground area. So this area is a we got ourselves a Marauder Vonzers, Flea Vonzers, the blue variation, Rocket Vonzers. 
gun traps, mines, and drone traps. So this place has a lot of traps and mines all over the place. So, so we just basically need to go through this level and uh, get to the top. So uh, this place has uh, uh, four items for us to find. So let's get to it. But our main objective is to um, reach the top of this place. Get basically get outside. God, I'm so used to my shotgun and instantly vaporizing dudes. So, so it's uh, like, oh, they're not dead yet. Come on. So I might just switch back to the shotgun. I was so used to doing so much damage that it, uh, I, I just can't, I can't, I just can't live anymore. You know what I mean? All right. Anything else around? Nope. Okay. And if I kill everything, it'll be less of a chore to, uh, or if I kill enough dudes, it'll be not, not less of a chore to, to uh, find everything. You know, the game, the, it gives you like two or three seconds to figure out to how to avoid it, but, uh, you know. There we go. Sorry if I'm usually using the map more often than not because I don't have I don't have the uh, these areas like uh, memorized as well as I do other things. Because most of the levels in this game are pretty straightforward. It's just go le go left or right and you win basically and shoot things. Uh, these guys are being annoying. No. There we go. At least they give a decent amount of experience, I guess. At least. Okay, there's a tr there's a chest over there. So that one's marked. And there's one over here. Let's see what this one is. This one is the Bazooka 2. Nice. Now I can swap out my Bazooka 1. And I can get some Bazooka Joes. No, wait. Does anyone still... Uh, uh, that's supposed to be gum, if I remember correctly. I wonder if anyone still buys that stuff. Probably. I don't know. It might be regional. I live in the Midwest of America, so <laughs> some stuff I have here is not available other places, you know. And some places I have here are not available on the coasts, for example. All right, anyway, we got a chafe dispenser here. Uh, it's an item that uh, um, basically any homing missiles or missiles will uh, be uh, um, moved away from you. So that way it's easier for you to dodge them, basically. I don't have to use it very often, so I don't... All right, let's see. So that's two of the items, so we need two more before we leave this place. I mean, if I didn't care about the items, which technically I don't, I would just, uh... Bah. All right, there's the money. Show me the money. And then finally the HP one around here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, let's see what else is down this way. So it might be, might be back up top. There it is. Well, since it's a health thing, I can uh, afford to take a few hits and uh, kill some dudes while we're here. Mainly I'm doing this to level up my uh, napalm gun a bit. All right. I think we've killed a good deal of the enemies around here. All right, there's the heal. All right, let's uh, finish the rest of this place. Explore. I think we're gonna... I shouldn't have to heal too much because of me, uh... Uh-oh. There we go. Alright. Made it. I mean, technically, I could have gone up top over back that way and just, uh... and just, uh, skip the rest of the level, but... Either way. And we're done. And that's it. All right, yeah, I got a decent amount of experience, or money, I mean. I mean, it's still better to go back to that one spot. I might do that in between episodes, maybe do it one more time. Mainly for the money, it's not so much the experience. But anyway, yeah, we finally have access to the shop. This is why I did this before going back to the encampment, so. Now, right, let's see what we have available here. 
All right, let's see what we can buy. Let's see, I already bought that. I already bought the Shield 3. No new dash units. Let's see, we can buy the Vulcan 3 if we want to now. Is available. Let's see, can't buy the Armor Plate 3. That probably means I'm a bit over leveled at this point. If I'm, I, I can't have access to certain items that I have, I that have a lot. I'm like, oh, I'm a little, little ahead of my, what I've got, but that's fine. Yeah. I'll probably just use the Bazooka 3, 2 for a while. Because really, uh, homie missile is still my bread and butter when it comes to a decent amount of damage. Let's see. Uh, decoy 2s, wireless grunt pods. Not bad. Let's see. New equipment for myself. Still need to buy. I probably should buy some after what happened last time. Yeah, some support stuff for Luvin if you want to buy that. And we can finally buy 8 2s, which heal us a lot more. Uh, or And we can also buy repair 3 kits, which heal us quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Let me look up. I always forget how much it, it heals me, and I want to be a little bit more efficient. So, unfortunately, it's kind of weird that the game doesn't straight up say what the item does off the... Okay. Uh, repair 3s heal 1,280 HP, and A2s uh, heal 640. And that's it for AIDS. We'll never get any more for the rest of the game, because there's your HP, you yourself, your character will never get more than so much HP, so there's really no reason to have an A2. Uh... R repair though will go go up to five at some point but i'm not gonna buy any repair threes right now i might do it eventually we haven't had really the need for it and for the fuel and stuff i'll probably still go back off screen and uh um go back and just uh, save myself some money and do that because i can i can just do that in between episodes but yeah i can buy some stuff for my uh, uh standard gun if i want to but i'm not using that anymore so all right well, apparently nothing, nothing really here for me. Nothing I want anyway. But let's go and shop, uh, swap out that uh, bazooka one for bazooka two. Does a bit more damage. Uh, see, that's the punch one. So okay. All right. Well, looks like we made quite a bit of a headway in this uh, jungle here. Just having to chop through up everything and uh, fight all these crazy guys and bishop. But what awaits us in uh, uh, what awaits us in the encampment that I've been avoiding the whole time? Will we find the prime minister? What is Crimson Blow doing here? And is Bishop really following uh, his boss's orders? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.